The highly anticipated Stage Connect series of racks is here for the Behringer Wing, but I'm going to show you today how to use this rack and apply it with your mixer as a splitter snake. Let's get at it. What up, y'all? It's your boy Don Aljona, S Time Productions. Today, I have a very exciting uh, new product that came in at the right time for me um, for everything that I wanted to do. This is the Stage Connect DN4816 O from Midas. Um, this is uh, one of three different versions of this 1U rack to support their new Stage Connect systems that are currently on their Behringer Wing mixer but uh, today I'm gonna kind of go through a little bit of a review of the unit and as well as showing you how you can connect this not only with the Behringer wing but it also will be compatible to all Behringer Midas digital consoles uh, the stage connect DN 4816-0 oh, man it's a it's a full number is one of three models right i have before me is a 16 out one unit rack that you can have connected via the stage connect port which is the new um, technology that music tribe family of products behringer midas um, has come out with that allows you to send out up to 16 ins and 16 outs of io via one xlr cable that will also power the unit in front right here we have one through 16 out from here and on the back of the unit what you have first obviously is a uh, a dc out and this will be for people who will not be able to use the power from your slave masters if you want to use it on the ethernet which i'll talk about in just a second right next to that you have a usb port this is pretty much just for firmware updates. Now, this section here is going to be very important. Uh, the This is the alternate section. You have a alternate, which you will send a shielded Cat 5 E or Cat 6 alternate 16 channel. So what this will do is if you send Ethernet here and plug it into your alternate port on your mixer or any of your P16 monitoring systems, it will also act this as 16 separate outs to the p16 monitoring system to any configuration that you want on any of your m32 x32 series of mixing consoles in the behringer uh wing so definitely a, a option that you can really start using this and that's why i was explaining earlier about you can use this as a splitter snake or excuse me as just a splitter rather to send out the front of house engineers and i'll explain that to you in just a moment right next to that you have an output for stage connect 16 channel uh stage connect uh is here's the ether um the xlr port so you have a slave in and then a master out this also the master will also run under 12 volt uh 1.5 amp dc out so this will negate this port if you use this and then right on the side here you have your stage connection synchronization um to the left you have slave mode in the middle you have the alternate which will run the alternate system here and then right on the right you have the master control um you can cascade these to uh into uh more racks um if you want to have more than just 16 or if you want to just send 16 outs into another place so say for an example that uh you want to send uh 16 outs or whatever you have here um to the front of house but you want to send another one to like their broadcast booth they have set separately so you can have like 16 channels of their own um in that in that sense and uh right at the end here we have output mode which would be individual and shared okay so uh, what i personally think this can be a benefit for and the reason why i bought it by the way behringer midas music tribe family of products did not ask me or call me or send me this product at all this is one i bought myself when i first heard about it when i looked at sweetwater which uh currently retails at about 320 dollars this model does um I definitely had to go and get it because this was just going to be a great benefit for the stuff I wanted to do. So this is definitely um, just a great, great product to use. Now, I've I've seen the uh, the other two, which is the uh, DN4816i, 
which is uh, 16 channels of inputs, 4888, which will pretty much run this as eight ins and eight outs. Now, what is the benefit of some of these? For this one, I'm going to say, if you are somebody like me that you know want, has a, a, a traveling band, I want to send out 16 separate channels of my stuff to the front of house engineer, but I don't want to go through all the hassle of well, in order for me to do this inner monitor system, I already got the mixer, but now I got to go and get two splitters to send 16 channels out. So then you have to pay, what, 89 to $90 a piece, if you're lucky, to get any of the, the Behringer MS-8000s. And then you have to go and buy two 16 channel things. The one to go to your personal mixer, one to go to the front of house mixer. And I think it's just too too many things. So what it does is it helps clean out the floor space to where I could take maybe one, let's say I do like a 25 footer of a ethernet port that will take care of this. I don't have to go and tether a snake where I have to put naming on there. I can plug wherever I want onto the mixer's end. The other end comes from, um, uh, I can plug everything that I need into the mixer and then I can send out the uh, alternate to that and give the front house engineer this um, this unit. Whether they'll plug directly in there or we just put a fan of fat snake and put into the fan snake if that makes it easier for them. Now, the other benefit of this that I personally use this for is um, I like to use backing tracks and I personally... I'm not too big of a fan of like having to spend more money and go get like a multi-channel interface just to go and press that problem for people who have splitters. So what, what I can do for an example is, so I have one of these, uh, this is a 25 foot USB, uh, B type cable to USB a that I send to my DAW. So what I like to do is send the DAW's I.O. into the mixer so that way I can send out pretty much my USB digital I.O. directly into the P16 system so the front of house engineer can mix this any way that they want to and not have to interfere with any of my mixes with me and or my band. Everything on one system. I don't have to go and do a bunch of rerouting. The I series of this same one, uh, they do show a diagram that I noticed that if, uh, say for an example, you are using the P16 monitoring system, you can plug direct or separate outs if you have it on an analog mix mixer into the ends, and then that can get tethered out into like the P16 to where you can get 16 separate channels of your own personal mix that way, which I kind of like. Hey guys, I'm going to take a pause real quick of the video and kind of show you a couple diagrams of a uh, real life setting of how you can really use this as a splitter snake. So right now, I, what I have before you is an MR18 um, console um, that I'm going to use as, um, that's on stage with me. I'm going to run the aux outs as inner monitoring system so aux 1 through 6 I'm going to use as that and then main left right I can also use as auxes. So Right now, I have all the inputs, kick snare overheads, high tom, floor tom, the bass guitar and, and acoustic guitar, keys, left, right DAW, which again, this can be digital and or analog if you want to use eighth inch ports. And then I have about four vocals here. All of those are getting sent via XLR cables to those channels. And then I'm going to send all of those down from the alternate port that's on the MR18 into the output port that's on the alternate in the stage connect i will have to use my dc input because i won't have the master xlr cable to connect to because we're going to try to send this out into an analog mixer make sure your alternate is set up to output and then what you also want to make sure to do is on the right there you have uh stage connect synchronization you want to make sure that's on uh, the alternate switch in the middle all inputs must be programmed and selected outputs on the mixer via the console or the app p16 settings so you will have to manually set these things up into the settings now the best way you can do this to avoid mismatching of levels for your front of house engineer to get you will most likely want to set it up into analog and not to input settings because it will just try to match its own gain so the analog settings will just set it as a as a plain main level set they can set their own gain levels to their own liking for their front of house it won't affect you, it won't affect your mixer or any of your equipment at all. 
looking on to the next slide, this is where you're going to have to send stuff out to the front of house analog mixer. Now I'm using, um, I'm using this as a as a fake analog mixer, so I'm covering all the the actual I/O that you could do to connect to this, just for the purpose of this video. All the digital ends that are coming out of all 16 outs of the stage connect are going to get sent to each of the channels into the front of house's mixer. Now you can use this via a fan to fan snake, or they can do direct regular XLRs that they want to send out to their front of house. The, the main basis of this is making sure you can giving the flexibility for the engineer to have it labeled and set up any way that they want to as long as you label them in your setup so they know what what to plug in and how to plug it into their ports this is just one of the few examples that you can use definitely something that you guys should really look at if you really want to get into this product again uh, links of everything will be on below in, in the description of where you can buy this um and uh, also at the bottom, you'll find all my music and social media stuff from there as well. So I hope you guys like this uh, review of the product. I think it's a great product. I think you guys will love it. I've tested it. It works. Uh, again, this is your boy, Donald Jordan, s time Reduction. Speak everything into existence. Invest, involve, and evolve. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. Peace.